My daughter just got home from cheer practice. That's, that's the sweet bark, you know? And I'm actually making a new dish. It smells so good. I don't know why the camera was so foggy before, but I am making arroz con pollo. Never made it before or had it before, but it smells good. And this one went to the vet today to get a bubble bath. Look at her tail. She got her toenails clipped. You know how I know? Because I can't hear her walking. Clickety clack, clickety clack. So they did a great job there, and she got a shot. Yeah, and you smell so good. It actually turned out to be really good. The lighting's a little orange in here for some reason. So, but this is how much I had left over, which is great because I'll just make this, you know, warm it up for lunches and things like that for this week. But yeah, it was, not, it was not bad at all. I feel like it might be one of the dishes that tastes a little bit better um, as a leftover or cold just because maybe it needs like time for all the juices to um, Marinate together, but yeah, it was not bad mm, Kind of burnt a little at the bottom But now I got to clean this up Good morning guys um, It's gonna be a pretty busy day in my house I don't know why I feel like a broken record I keep talking about cleaning and there's only like two of us living here it's ridiculous but I have a mountain of clothes to fold a mountain of clothes to clean um, I don't know if I've mentioned this in other videos I don't think I have but my daughter is back at school feeling so much better I I'm not sure if it was so much flu and I don't know if we caught it in time um, but she was out of school for four days but she's so much better Back of school, happy, great, and I have, look at this mess, L look at my laundry room, it's absolutely ridiculous, and I need to do a lot of editing today, I've got two videos I need to edit, my vlog for Friday, and then a planner video, and then I need to film a planner video, film a Dollar Tree haul, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go out today. And I don't have dinner planned in my mind either. So, oh boy. Um, maybe I know what I'm going to do actually. Yeah, I think I'll make my daughter pasta salad, which I can't stand. I think it's disgusting, but she loves it and it's super healthy. I'm probably going to eat leftovers from the arroz con pollo, so I'm going to do that. And yeah, so I think this is just another stay-at-home day, although... I had a pretty bad headache last night and I went to bed so early and I think it's because I'm like cabin fever or something I don't know um you see this look at her act in a mess she's so much better too she went to the bath she went to the bath she went to the vet yesterday got a bath got her bordetella her leg is almost there I think she's gonna be a couple weeks from like full run um but she is running and sometimes she puts her foot down and runs with it but sometimes she depending on how long her stride is i think she keeps it up because i think it's that muscle that like gets her leg to go full stride or whatever i don't know um god am i just saying random things i honestly do not know okay so i gotta do something about this say hello to everybody you big old ham
Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Say hi to Blue Glitter Glam and Amberella and Clo Clo and Melanie and Maya. Say hi to everybody's. Hi. She's alive, I promise. All right. Ooh, this is gonna be a fun day vlogging and maybe I'll put on makeup so you don't have to look at this. I do not know. Uh, what am I doing? Wow, I don't even know. Here's more, here's more dirty clothes. Oh, I know what I wanted to get. I wanted to get the uh, tripod so that you can watch me do the laundry. Squad. They're just everything. Their goals, their squad goals. I feel like personality wise, I'm a Dorothy, but. I don't know, like Blanche just kills me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about getting back into shape. I think I'm gonna start like maybe a yoga video today. Ooh, do you guys wanna do yoga with me? Um, I could, I'm gonna start a, like a video yoga just to like get my body limber and used to using my muscles cause I feel like I haven't been doing that at all. And I do want to get back into running, but I don't want to just go from doing nothing to running. I feel like that's going to kill me. And then I have to decide what I'm going to do about running because I love running outside. But at the same time, I feel like my knees shouldn't be running or shouldn't be, you know, subjected to pavement, concrete or whatever. So... I may have to get like a membership at the gym so I can run on treadmill, but I feel like there's a big difference. I feel like there's a huge difference between running on concrete and the treadmill in, in terms of like resistance kind of. I just feel like you have to work a lot harder to run on concrete than you do on a treadmill. I don't even know where I'm going with this, just little updates. I've got all my stuff folded now, so I'm gonna go put it all up. And now I just have to decide if I wanna do yoga or if I want to go ahead and take a shower. All right, I think I'm going to skip on yoga. I've got too much to do. 
I got to start filming my planner videos. I got my, I moved some of my stuff from the TV room and in here. I'm just gonna do a video later on my, my organization, but I think I'm gonna just take a shower, put on some makeup. All right, I just got out of the shower. I'm still waiting for my hair to kind of dry because I wanted to keep it natural. I didn't really wanna apply heat or anything to it. So I'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit more and then I'm gonna just kind of pet it up like this like I always do. Um, I went, I just wanted to go with something like really natural. I didn't wanna look like a hot mess. So I didn't do anything on my lower line at all. I just did a little bit of eyeliner up here just because I have really big eyes and eyeliner makes it look a little bit smaller. And I did some bronzing and some, yeah, but this is like, this isn't even lipstick. It's just um, chapstick. So my eyebrows look weird. I know my hair just looks a little messy right now. And I just wanted to put on some really cute gold jewelry. Gold is my favorite, by the way. And then I have been saying this to myself for just weeks now that I need to clean my brushes. So I am going to do that today. And I'll show you how I clean my brushes. But then I have to put my camera on the charger so that it will be fully charged when I film my planner video today, which I'm still hoping I'm gonna do, and that's it. So usually what I get out is either a towel or paper towels, like a kitchen towel or paper towels, and a little plate. So this is where you will put your clean brushes on so that it kind of soaks up like excess water. And then this is where you actually put the solution for cleaning. And I use extra virgin olive oil, just any kind of olive oil, not like cooking oil. Um, so I put a little bit of this, not too much, kind of eyeball it, about that much, even though I'll have to use more, but I'll pour it later. And then I use some Dawn soap, and I put a little bit more of this than the olive oil, or maybe like equal parts, and swirl it together. That's how a lot of um, painters clean their paintbrushes, so it's really gentle on the bristles so yeah so then the next big key is the palm of my hand so let's go ahead and get started try to ignore the dirty dishes okay so i just take the dry brush and i gently tap at first you kind of see all the stuff and then i get my palm wet and then i start swirling on my palm. And then you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to tell with the light blinding, but the um, it's very dirty. Like this is a dirty brown color. And I just keep swirling into my palm. And then you can see how clean that is. I mean, that was orange, and now the bristles are white like they used to be. And then I just set it on here, and I pick another one and do the same step again. So this is what my room looks like right now. This is the table that I got myself on Amazon. It's my little folding table where I'm gonna do my planning. So, and then I was trying to bring in everything from the TV room, although there's still a lot, which I'll show you, but look at all this. And I have to organize it and put it in here somehow. And then I have another, um, I have another dresser in my closet 
that I'm gonna sort in there as well. But I do need to get started on my planners. There's more planners right there. And then I'll show you what the drawers are looking like in the TV room. She's passed out. So this is where I was storing all of my stuff in these drawers. And then those two bottom drawers in that closet. So I still have this drawer to clean out. Yeah, so I still need to get all this stuff out of here, but this one's pretty much empty. And, but this one, I still have um, just random little things. So hopefully I'll find a spot for those. And then more random things. And then empty, empty. So and then this one will be empty. So essentially my goal is to give these four to my daughter. And then if I need to, I'll have these two bottom drawers. Now, these two is like a Dollar Tree treasure chest. I mean, there's so many goodies in here, but those are gonna be for giveaways. And then my closet, like you can actually walk in here now. Whereas before, if I opened this up, it was just like right here in your face because, oh, there's so much. But I don't have any room for all this. So unfortunately, I am going to have to keep this little craft closet. But I do want to move my sticker binders into my room. And then I'll probably have to like move some things from my room back into here. Just out of priority. So things I don't normally need, I'll keep in this room. And then the things I normally reach for, I'll keep in my, my room. But I still have this and all this stuff. So much stuff down here. All this stuff. I need to move this into my room because now I have a drawer for scrapbook paper. These are all our board games. So fun, so fun. Well, who followed me but yeah I mean I'm getting there I'm getting to the point where I don't have to come to this room and that's really the goal I just want my daughter to kind of have this room to herself she doesn't need the closet I do but um yeah so now the next step is for me to organize all those things in my on my bed and then once I get all of that organized I'm gonna go through some of the things and get what I need to start my planner videos so chances are because I have so much to organize now that I'm gonna have to wait to do my planner video tomorrow. But I'm almost there and I already have my January spreads planned out. So we're almost there and I'm uploading a planner flip through 2016 